ראש הממשלה, כמה מילים בפתח הישיבה הזו? יש בישראל לגבי כלכלה חופשית ולא כלכלה ריכוזית. עכשיו, זו הפעם השישית שאני מקים ממשלה בישראל. אני יכול לבשר לכם שזה... אני מתחיל את... The protesters are protesting against an attempt to give all the power in the hand of the government. It has a few components, but this is the real rationale. to give the power for the majority to do anything. This will be a, demo, a very hollow democracy, which means majority can do anything. No protection of human rights, no protection of minority, no protection of women, no protection against um, corruption. The constitutional situation in Israel is that we have very few checks and balances in our system because we, it's a parliamentary system, which means there is no real division between the executive and the legislature. The government is controlling the Knesset. They have an automatic majority there, so there is no real separation there. Also, we don't have two houses in the parliament, just one house. So the majority have all the power. The, the, the government is controlling legislation. We also don't have a real constitution. We have basic laws, but they are not entrenched. So a simple majority can just change the rules of the game, and that's what they're trying to do now. So actually, the only real power the really, that can check and balance the government is the Supreme Court. Also, the Supreme Court has the power to have administrative review, which means, for example, that the decision of the government is irrational or unreasonable. Unreas extreme unreasonableness. This is the extreme unreasonableness standard, and that's what's on the table now. They want to take it away in order that the government, I won't say that it will be totally unlimited, but it will be a lot less limited. I think that we are already achieving a huge success. It has to be understood. This is a very successful post protest so far. Yeah, we did not, you know, reach the end goal of this game, but so far we have been able to prevent them from, uh, from changing the country. And yes, now they are taking a step forward. We understand that this is only a first step because they tell us that this is their first step and they are willing to change uh, Israel from a liberal democracy into a, a dark dictatorship. Uh, so we are moving forward, we are successful all the time, and uh, as I said, the, the way how to get out of this particular uh, scene is, is clear. If they move on, uh, we will be backing up our gatekeeper to make the right decision, our uh, soldiers, our policemen, the judges of the Supreme Court, and so on. So what, what should happen, uh, it will bring us into, you know, we'll be marching toward the constitutional um, uh, crisis, meaning that uh, the laws that will be legislated is, uh, um, contradict any, any constitutionals or any values that we believe here as a na in, in as a nation. We think that uh, the gatekeeper, as they call them, the Supreme Court in this sense, will rule out this, uh, will reject the laws, and we should be in the streets to back up uh, the decision makers, the police, the, uh, the army and so on to make the right thing and to follow uh, the law and not follow the non-legitimate uh, um, government.
whether we accept part of the reform or not, whether you have this government, whether we have elections and another government, whatever happens, I think something really broke here. Something really tore up the Israeli society in, in a way that uh, was not there in, in the past.